Today is our second annual SPFL Trust Golf Day in partnership with the Chris Mitchell Foundation um, and it's an opportunity really to, to bring people within football together to promote the importance of good mental health and the fact that we should be doing as much as we can to support that and also to raise vital funds that will allow us to continue to deliver free mental health first aid training within the game. I think it's important the football clubs off the back of what happened to young Chris, you know, we lost one and one one's too many. You know, it's important that, you know, we in, in any walk of life really if someone's suffering from a mental pain, you can't really see it, but you may be able to recognise the signs. And that's what this is initiative is for, is to put into football clubs the warning signs that it might be there and to be able to recognise them and, and help. Yeah, it's been excellent. I think they set up in a full place. Uh, the course and that we're playing in, the people have turned up is a, a tribute to him. Um, it's been a, a good start so far. Uh, if he was here, he would, he would love to come to some. I say we'd always support things like that. So I'd be building and proud. But the SPFL Trust have been a godsend to us, I have to say. Um, both them and Mark Fleming, uh, we've got. Um, must say a business plan going to uh, deliver. Um, a two-day mental health first aid course which is accredited to people in football, it can be anybody, managers, players, uh, directors, kit men, anybody at all that can um, within that two-day course become aware and get trained up in mental health. Everything has gone really really smoothly and everybody's had a super day, how could you not in these um, surroundings and the generosity of everyone with their time and also their money has just been fantastic and it will make a huge difference.